Peace and blessings. How you all doing? This is Ibra Fall with the Black Urban Gardening Society. Uh, today I'm going to do a requested video for you guys. Uh, a lot of people are asking about a picture that we posted um, about our uh, green bean trellis. And so if you could see it here, uh, it's nothing too complicated. We just have a uh, two cow panels and uh, some T posts and some raised beds. Um, we use some wire just to tie the uh, cow panels to the T post and simply planted a pack of green beans, uh, pole beans specifically, in this uh, to climb up this uh, cow panel here. On the other side of the cow panel, there were cucumbers. Um, we probably harvested over two, three hundred cucumbers off of just this um, this cow panel alone. So it was. It, it was very prolific this year but I'll get you guys a little bit closer so you can see what's going on in here so you can see we have uh, green beans growing all over the place here uh, we've definitely harvested them quite a few, harvested the green beans quite a few times and over here you see the open space to where um, the cucumbers were at and the season is about over with. Uh, we have some green beans that we've let grow to be quite large, um, not intentionally. Uh, we just haven't been harvesting, harvesting them as much as we should have. Uh, but we've let some grow to be rather large. And uh, they'll be great to, uh, to keep for seed. Uh, we have other beds. We have other beds. Uh, this is our most recent project. Um, I guess I'll say phase three of the garden here. Uh, I posted a picture of that a while back. And in these beds, we have uh, turnip greens and mustard greens growing over here in these beds. Um, so they're coming up. Uh, we're getting some decent germination I'm starting to see here but in between the rows we have um, wood chips um, and once again the wood chips is just to uh, for aesthetics but more importantly is uh, to build up the soil to add uh, organic matter into the soil and uh, these beds are all made with just straight compost all right uh, so all of the beds pretty much so are looking the same this is another bed uh, I'm not sure what's in all of these beds here uh, you can see we have uh, some germination going on in this bed here this is a uh, red Russian kale we still have some of our um, basil still in here this bed is primarily for herbs here so we have some oregano in here and this is fall. And we left the basil in, specifically um, this Thai basil, because uh, it was one of the few plants uh, in the garden that uh, pollinators could come to to, um, to feed. So feeding all of life is super important. So that's what that purpose is for. Got another bed here. I think we got spinach in it. And you can see this is uh, one of our cow panel trellis setups excuse me but if you want to see it more clearly this is how it looked or how it looks without anything under here we have uh, excuse the noise this definitely is the city uh, we have um, we put a tarp under here to kill the grass to suppress the grass we put straw down here and uh, these are the other beds that uh, we have watermelon and other crops in. And um, over here we have some collards, the same collards and kale that we planted here in the spring. You know, luckily these crops, the biennials, so we get, a, get some good time off of these crops here. So we have collards, kale, and uh, some cabbage down here as well. But this video definitely was just to update you guys on what's popping off here in this garden. Uh, you can see we have uh, 
our compost heap over here. I'm not sure. Uh, we have a lot of tomatoes in here uh, that actually are good. We even have some um, cucumbers in here. I'm sorry, not cucumbers, um, cantaloupe and some watermelon in here. Not sure what's popping off with these. Uh, you can see the size of some of the growth we had. Look at the stalks on these okra. Um, so luckily uh, one of our brothers in the community has a wood chipper so we're gonna grind all of this up to uh, make compost for next year's garden. Uh, we've actually started a little compost heap that'll be out of, made out of cinder blocks. Something a little bit more permanent. But this is what's going on in the garden, you guys. Um, and once again, this is Zebra Fall with the Black Urban Gardening Society. Please like, subscribe to our channel. Share our videos with your fam family, friends, and everyone. And uh, this is a uh, little community garden setup that's been extremely prolific this year. And next year, we just expect it to be better, being that we are developing soil adding more nutrients and more importantly the members of the community will have one whole season under their belt and they'll be able to do this themselves so definitely each one teach one and we out you guys peace